Today, we will witness another milestone in the lives of our learners. Made from hard work and dedication, all their accomplishments deserve an attention. Despite the challenges brought by the pandemic, we continue to celebrate our learners' achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, parents and guests, welcome to the virtual graduation rites of San Sebastian Elementary School bearing the theme, Sulong Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. You are about to witness the processional. Yonor Magtolis Briones, Department of Education Secretary. Dr. Nicolas T. Capulong, CESO 5, OIC Regional Director. Dr. Maria Carmen P. Cuenco, CESO 6, OIC Schools Division Superintendent. Dr. Lourdes P. De La Cruz, OIC Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Madam Maria Flores I. Caparas, Public Schools District Supervisor. Honorable Maria Cristina C. Angeles, City Mayor. Honorable Cinderella Puno, Barangay Captain of San Sebastian. Dr. Lucia R. Domingo, Principal Tree. San Sebastian Elementary School Educators. Dali Y. Pukis, Teacher 1. Irene U. Bambalan, Teacher 1. Shen Kathleen I. Anisete, Teacher 3. Renalyn P. Estronilo. Teacher 3 Arnie G. Lumba Teacher 1 Caseline T. Francia Teacher 1 Jessica G. Salvador Teacher 3 Gemma L. Sikat Teacher 3 Johanna B. Assessor Teacher 3 Erish Madel L. Lumba Teacher 1 Mayflor T. Agustin Master Teacher 1 Edna B. Kiambao Teacher 3 Lagrimas P. Alegre Teacher 3 Franz Angelica A. Frias Teacher 3 Marilu C. Carlina Teacher 3 Joanna Marie T. Briones Teacher 3 Maria Charisma Fatima M. Ramos Teacher 1 Michelle C. Tapnyo Teacher 1 Janine Michelle C. Carlina Teacher 3 Susana Lalane M. Peña Teacher 3 Mary Fatima B. Gabor Teacher 3 and Berna G. Cordero Teacher 3 The Entrance of Colors In the safety of your home, we invite everyone to bow your heads and feel the presence of the Lord as Esther Dorothy G. Lumba lead us the opening prayer. Let us pray. Lovingly Heavenly Father, as we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, we will not forget the blessings that follow behind us. We thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving us the opportunity for this school, San Sebastian Elementary School, which has given a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. For our teachers, who have so richly loved and cared for us, even at worst, for our families who have cheered us onto the finish line and stood by our sides 
through the many bumps in the road. Please bless and guide us as we chart new beginnings. Despite of what we are facing right now, we believe on your words that you have planned for us, planned to prosper us and not to harm us, and planned to give us hope and future. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let us pay tribute to our national flag with pride and glory as we recite Panatang Makabayan to be delivered by Lebron Albert L. Mercado. To be followed by the singing of Dep Ed Region 3 and TCSD Hymn. Panatang Makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi, kinukupok ako at tinutulungan upang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payan ng aking mga magulang. Susundin ko ang mga tuntunin na paaralan. Tutuparin ko ang mga tungkulin ng isang mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal na buong katapatan. Iyalay ko aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas.
To set the tone for this event, let us listen to Rashila and Villarama for the opening remarks. Our school's division superintendent, Ma Maria Carmen Picoenco, to our district supervisor, Ma Maria Flores Aycaparas, to our beloved principal, Ma Lucia I. Domingo, to all teaching and non-teaching staff of San Sebastian Elementary School, to my fellow graduates who are watching right now, parents, guests, and friends, good morning to each and everyone. I am truly honored to welcome all of you today. This is the day that we will end our elementary years and take, and take the next step to learn new things, to collect more ideas and experiences. Always remember, this is not the end, but the beginning of a new journey. This school year had been great. We learned a lot, met new friends, and had tons of fun. My fellow graduates learned to be smart and to be good kids. We thank all our teachers for molding our characters and minds to be who we are today. And we are also grateful that you were our second parents and made us feel that our school is our second home. To our parents, we offer and share our success to you. You have provided us all our needs, inspired us a lot to do our best in everything we do. Without your support, we will never come to this moment. We hope that we have made you proud today. To our Almighty God, beginning and end of all things, Thank you for the blessing you've given us. On behalf of San Sebastian Elementary School, Batch 2020, I welcome you to our online graduation. Enjoy this momentous event. It is in the knowledge of everyone that the aim of San Sebastian Elementary School is to provide opportunities for learners to develop their inner potential while instilling Filipino values in them, to be good and productive citizens. At this point, realizing our share in this endeavor, we listen to the messages from the Department of Education Secretary, Dr. Yonor Magtolis Briones. Sa ngalan ng Department of Education, ang ating mga opisyales, members ng Executive Committee, members ng um, ANCOM, ang Management Committee, saan naroroon ang mga regional directors at mga superintendents, uh, mga supervisors, ating mga central office directors, at uh, pinaka-importante, mga principals at sa mga teachers. Kami lahat ay tuwang-tuwa na natapos na rin ninyo ang mga uh, pangangailangan para magiging considered na kayo na graduates of class 2020. Uh, kayo ay isa-isa kong kino-congratulate. Uh, sayang, hindi ko naman kayo pwedeng maka-shake hands o pwedeng mangitian ng personal. Pero uh, yung ating uh, magandang uh, asal, yung ating magandang uh, pagtingin sa isa't isa sa inyo, nandoon pa rin. At saka tuwan-tuwa kami talaga, lalo na ako. Para sa akin, Ang graduation ay isa sa pinaka masigla, pinaka masaya na okasyon sa buhay ng isang uh, learner o isang um, estudyante. Pero pinaka masaya din yan para sa teacher. Pinaka masaya yan sa lahat ng administrators dahil mayroon na namang graduating class na nakakatapos. Uh, kayo ay very special. Special kayo sa parents ninyo, special kayo sa mga friends, sa mga teachers ninyo, sa community, special na special kayo, each and every one of you. But you are also special in a different way because you are graduating at the time of COVID-19. Siguro, pag magiging ganap na kayong uh, uh, citizen ng Pilipinas o lumaki na kayo, 
uh, tumanda na kayo, sasabihin ninyo, ako ay nag-graduate sa panahon ng coronavirus. Ang pag-graduate ninyo ngayon ay ibang-iba sa pag-graduate ng mga nakauna sa inyo or maybe sa susunod sa inyo. Dahil ito ngayon ay panahon ng coronavirus, so mga adjustments ang ginagawa natin. Hindi pwede tayong magtipon-tipon, hindi pwedeng magkita-kita kayo ng mga parents ng classmates sa ninyo, mga barkada, mga yaya, lolo, lola, at mga parents and teachers, hindi pwedeng mag-ipon-ipon kayo sa isang lugar at this time. Pero marami namang ibang paraan na kayo ay babatiin at para ma-celebrate ninyo itong special na occasion na ito. Uh, ang iba sa inyo ay magkaroon ng virtual graduation tulad ng sa Davao. Uh, congratulations sa inyo. Ang iba naman siguro maghintay kung mayroon ng uh, mas um, friendlier uh, environment, mas friendlier circumstances. At saka, hindi lang ito nangyari sa panahong ito dahil sa COVID. May mga uh, karanasan din ang DepEd. May karanasan din ang ating mga universidad kung saan napupuspon, napagpaliban ang graduation. Uh, sa panahon ng mga lola at lolo ninyo, napagpaliban ang graduation dahil yung panahon nyo ng gera. At saka mayroon talaga ng tunay na kalaban na nagdi-disrupt ng ating mga activities. So at that time, yung mga estudyante, hindi sila nagka-graduate. Naka mayroon namang uh, instance na mayroong malaking mga disasters, kaya napupuspong din ang graduation. Kagaya nung nangyari minsan sa UP, dahil napakatindi yung bagyo na tumama sa sa Manila, sa Central uh, Luzon at sa ibang bahagi ng uh, Luzon at ang UP hindi nakapagpatuloy sa kanyang graduation. So, ang nangyari, the next na lang ng registrar ang mga estudyante na ikaw ay graduado na. Dadating din ang panahon siguro kung kagustuhan ng inyong mga parents o kagustuhan ng inyong mga teachers or administrators na magkaroon din kayo ng graduation tulad ng dati. Pero ang importante ay kayo ay graduado na. Kayo ay pumasa. Kayo ay dumanas sa mahirap na pamamaraan, mga examen, mga ratings, na grado na binigay ng mga teachers ninyo para kayo makonsider talaga na graduate. Ano kaya ang payo na maibigay ko sa inyo sa panahong ito ng COVID-19? Kasi kaiba nga ang sitwasyon ninyo ngayon. Para sa mga elementary school students na mag-move up to, to junior high school, eh, ibang-iba na ang mapuntahan ninyo sa high school. Hindi na yung araw-araw gigisingin kayo, magdala kayo ng baon, uh, at saka makikita ninyo teachers ninyo, at saka yung mga libro, mahawakan ninyo, mahihipo ninyo. Uh, iba na ang uh, pamamaraan dahil uh, ang gagamitin ICT, gagamitin yung mga learning platforms kagaya ng DepEd Commons, ang gagamitin ay ang mga computer, ang tablet, television at sa radio para matuto kayo. Depende kung anong sitwasyon sa inyong lugar. Para naman sa junior high school na pupunta sa senior high school, baka matuwa kayo kasi nung na-introduce ang senior high school, maraming mga komentaryo, feedback galing sa parents ninyo galing sa mga eksperto, na sobrang dami yung subjects. Ngayon, na-reduce na natin yung subjects, lalo na sa senior high school, at saka sa iba't ibang baitang. No? So sa junior high school, kayong nag-step nag, kayo nag, uh, up na, uh, ang magiging subjects ninyo sa senior high school, 
uh, sobrang konti kaysa dati. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na konti lang ang malalaman ninyo. Kasi karamihang malalaman din ninyo, marami kayong matutunan sa bahay ninyo, sa pag-aaral ninyo sa learning platforms, at saka sa tulong ng inyong mga magulang, sa inyong lolo at lola, inyong mga mentors sa bahay at saka sa inyong mga, yung sinasabi kong mga tahanan ninyo. So, lesser ang learning competencies para sa senior high school at saka sa ibang grado, pero siguro mas malalim ang matutunan ninyo. Kasi ang pangangailangan ngayon, ma-elementary ka, ma-junior high school ka, o magiging uh, senior high school ka, napapasok na sa universidad, ang pinaka-importante ay yung sinasabi sa batas na critical thinking. Kung may mga problema, kung may mga challenges, kailangan matuto tayo na ito ay ma-analyze, mapag-isipan ng rational, yung sinasabi ito natin ginagamit ang logic, ginagamit ang analysis, ang uh, kailangan yung collaboration, makipagtulungan ka sa mga classmates mo, sa parents mo, kailangan ng communication, hindi pwede na uh, ikaw lang mag-isa mag-aaral, magko-communicate ka palagi, but siguro yung sinasabi natin na virtual. Pero ang importante para sa akin, wala yan sa batas, wala yan sa mga libro siguro. Ang importante para sa inyo, sa junior high na magiging senior, sa senior na magiging university, o pupunta sa mga vocational training na nagugustuhan ninyo, eh, ang magiging courageous, magiging brave. Uh, wag kayong matakot dahil ang mundo na pinupuntahan ninyo ay ibang-iba sa nasanayan ninyo. Hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng inyong mga school, hindi kayo pababayaan mga teachers, hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng ating government na nagbibigay sa atin ng mga paaralan galing sa buwis ng ating mga magulang, at hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng mga magulang ninyo. Hindi kayo nag-iisa. Kaya huwag kayong matakot dahil maraming mga bagong uh, bagay na ituturo sa inyo. Maraming bagong tinatawag nila na challenges na haharapin ninyo. Pero hindi nakakatakot. Dapat ma-excited kayo. Dahil iba na ang inyong pag-aralan. Iba ng pamamaraan sa pag-aaral. At saka siguro maging mas mabuti kayong citizen kaysa aming mga lola, lolo at mami, daddy ninyo ngayon. So once again, congratulations para sa mag-aakyat mag from elementary hanggang magpunta na sila sa junior high school. Yung galing sa junior high school na magpupunta sa senior high school at ang senior high school na pupunta na sa vocational, mag-specialized uh, training o magtrabaho o pupunta sa universidad. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It's a new world that you are facing. Siguro, some of you, hindi ako sigurado sa mga elementary uh, students, pero sa mga junior high at saka element, uh, sa senior high, alam niyo yung pelikula ni Alayden. Si Alayden, mayroong magic rug, di ba? Sumasakay sila, naglilipad sila kasama si Princess Yasmin. At saka ang kinakanta nila, a whole new world. You are now leaving your school, You are entering a whole new world, but do not be afraid because you will not be alone. Your teachers will always be with you. Your government will always see to it that you will be educated. Your family will be with you. And most important, God will be with you. So God be with you. Do not be afraid. These are wonderful times. Congratulations 
sa isa't isa sa inyong lahat. Thank you. At this juncture, we listen to Dr. Nicolas T. Capulong, CESA 5, OIC Regional Director. I would like to convey my sincerest congratulations to our computers and graduates of school year 2019-2020. While we are in the midst of challenging times affecting our community, both locally and globally, let not this hinder us from celebrating your achievement and treasuring this milestone spawned out of your utmost diligence, fervor, and hard work. This moment also calls you to cherish the incessant support and care of your parents, teachers, and other people who will help you succeed and reach this far. This year's team, Sulong Edukalidad, championing the nation's future, and that is the current Fibotal Endeavor of the Department of Education, where it responds to the challenge to shift from access to quality education. This is the present battle cry of the department as it seeks to address the gaps and problems that resulted in the low proficiency levels of our students based on national and international assessments. Sulong Edukalidad not only aims to improve our country's ranking and performance, but more importantly, it intends to establish the needed key reforms in basic education to ensure that our learners will achieve their full potential amidst the rapidly changing world. With the learners at the center of Sulong Edukalidad, it is symbolized by a kite, which represents the four core components that include the K-12 curriculum review and update, improving the learning environment, teachers upscaling and reskilling, and engagement of stakeholders for support and collaboration. Armed with the unceasing commitment of the department to respond to the progressive learning environment of our present and future learners, Sulong Edukalidad steers the progressive reforms to globalize the quality of basic education in our country. With the kite used as symbol of hope, Sulong Edukalidad signifies our ultimate goal to rise above these challenges in basic education and help our learners fly high and reach their dreams. Congratulations once again and keep aiming high. The ever supportive OIC Superintendent of Tarlac City Schools Division, Dr. Maria Carmen P. Cuenco, CESO 6. In light of the challenging year that was, I joined the whole Tarlac City Schools Division school community in greeting completers and graduates, heartfelt congratulations for a job well done. This is probably one of the most memorable school year in for a long time, marked with uncertainties by the COVID-19 issue. Nevertheless, the staunch believers in the Almighty that we are paved the way to a smooth closing of the academic year. This year's theme, Sulung Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future, highlights the essential role of quality education in helping Filipino learners achieve their full potentials toward the fulfillment of their dreams and aspirations. It is hoped that throughout the year, the school system has brought out the full potential hidden in each learner. As DepEd in general strongly advocates quality education through curriculum review, improvement of the learning environment, reskilling and upskilling of teachers, and continuous engagement of stakeholders, Tarlac City Schools Division in particular focused and will continue to focus on the reason for which we do everything 
you our dear learners. In the end, your parents, teachers, education officials and personnel persistently accord unwavering support coupled with fervent prayers that you will choose the right path as you continue to strive for greater heights. Flying high, Batang Tarlapeno. Make us all proud. Congratulations and God bless you all. Principal 3 of San Sebastian Elementary School, Dr. Lucia R. Domingo. The long overdue graduation is finally come. As we all know that it's really impossible to conduct a physical graduation in this time of pandemic. As your school principal, I cannot let you pass school year 2019-2020 without having you see waving goodbye to, our, to your alma mater, without celebrating all your accomplishments. It is now time for you to explore and be proud of all your achievements. Indeed, there is a bright future ahead of you. Most of all, this is the moment to recognize all your efforts and hard work. As you burn your midnight candle to equip yourself with the needed knowledge and skills, continue your education journey. Please remember all the friendship and memories made here at San Sebastian Elementary School. You will always have a special place in our hearts. Again, congratulations and continue to strive for a better future. God bless you all. To present the candidates for graduation, we have our school principal, Dr. Lucia R. Domingo. Madam, I have the honor to present to you the 107 graduates of San Sebastian Elementary School for school year 2019-2020, 48 males and 59 females, who satisfactorily completed the requirements of K-12 curriculum, recommending for your confirmation. The candidates will be accepted and confirmed by the Public Schools District Supervisor of Tarlac Central A District, Madam Maria Flores I. Caparas. By virtue of authority vested in me of the Department of Education and as the duly authorized representative of Tarlac City Schools Division Superintendent, Madam Cuenco, and based from the recommendation of your principal, Dr. Lucia Domingo, that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. I now confirm you, graduates. Congratulations, graduates. You may now receive your certificates. It's with pride and honor to present to you the graduates from Grade 6 Venus, starting with Adre Rizman Mervin D. Rizman will also receive a certificate for being a fourth placer in the District Athletic Meet Chess category. Alamo Jovan G. Jovan will also receive a certificate for being a fourth placer in the District Press Conference, Photojournalism English, and Copy Reading and Headline Writing Filipino, fifth placer. De La Cruz Ethan Y. Ethan will also receive a certificate for being a third placer in the District Athletic Meet Chess category. King Angelo B. Fajardo. Flores Romeo Rafael G. Romeo will also receive a certificate for being a second placer in the Palig Sahan sa Pagbabaybay and certificates for winning in the District Schools Press Conference Copy Reading and Headline Writing English, second placer, and District Tugsayawit, first placer. Gomez Vince Russell G. Guevara James Day M. James Day will also receive a certificate for being a first placer in the District Tugsayawit Contest and a third placer in the District Athletic Meet Volleyball. Maliwat John Carlo P. 
Mercado Lebron Albert L. Lebron will also receive a certificate for being a first placer in the District Athletic Meet Table Tennis. Pinyon Yuan Haley M. Yuan will also receive a certificate for being a first placer in the District Athletic Meet Table Tennis and a fifth placer in the District School's Press Conference Editorial Writing English. Ponceja Lance Mannix M. Lance will also receive a certificate for being a first place winner in the District Athletic Meet Table Tennis. Tubo Arman Jed C. And Tumol John Paul J. For the girls, we have Abejo Amelin H. Amelin will also receive a certificate for being one of the winners in the District Tugsayawit Contest first place. Asuncion Jezel J. F. Asusula Christine S. Christine will also receive a certificate for being a first placer in the District of Sayawi Contest. Avellaneda Gemma Rose J. Biatingo Priscel Joy G. Priscel will also receive a certificate for winning the first placer for winning first placer in the District School's Press Conference Feature Writing Filipino and District Tugsaya with Contest First Place. Bondok Ani E. Kacho Riza Jane M. Kalubiran Leilin Faith Joy M. Konanan Ainaho Bon J. Ainaho will also receive a certificate for winning in the District Press Conference Sports Writing Filipino 2nd place. Domingo Princess Jewel A. Doniego Krisha Ann C. Espinosa Hazel T. Hazel will also receive a certificate for winning in the District Tugsayawi Contest 1st place. Esther Dorothy G. Lumba. Dorothy will also receive a certificate for winning in the District Tugsayawit Contest, first placer. Mendoza Celine Rain B. Celine will also receive a certificate for winning in the District School's Press Conference, News Writing Filipino, fourth placer. Moralde Princess Chloe B. Musni Angeline G. Mutok Sara Angela L. Navarro Trisha C. Padilla Roseby M. Roseby also received a certificate for winning in the District Press Conference Photojournalism English, 5th place. Pevidal Rain Angeli J. Salvatierra Bianca Marie M. Bianca will also receive a certificate for winning in the District Athletic Meet 6th Placer Chess, District Athletic Meet 400 Meter Run 1st Placer, Inter-District Athletic Meet 800 Meter Run 4th Placer, Araling Panlipunan Quiz B 3rd Placer. Santos Yaj Chantal V. Yaj will also receive a certificate for winning in the District Press Conference Sports Writing English, second place. Villarama Rashila N. Rashila will also receive a certificate for winning in the District Athletic Meet, third placer, chess category. Aralin Panlipunan District Quizby, third placer. District Sul Castula, second placer. District Schools Press Conference News Writing Filipino, 2nd Placer District Press Conference Copywriting and Headline Writing Filipino, 3rd Placer District Math Quizby, 4th Placer District MTAP, 
fifth laser. Virai Zendaya A. Last but not the least, Zuniga Janeska Altea S. Janeska will also receive a certificate for winning in the District Press Conference Cooperating in Headline Writing English, First Placer. Editorial Cartooning, Fourth Placer. Pandayan Bookshop Kid Art Oil Pastel Poster Making, Tenth Placer. District MTAP, Fifth Placer. District Math Quiz B, Fourth Placer. And District Araling Pandipunan Poster Making Contest, Fourth Placer. Congratulations! Presenting to you the graduates of Grade 6 Saturn for the school year 2019-2020. Abalos Leonard G. Alcisto Princeton Gabriel. Princeton will also be receiving a certificate for being a fifth placer in the invitation card making district level. Aquino Noel RJG. Baltasar Justin Paul G. Basilas Jeremy D. Magarde Aljon D. Mangwan Rafael John Y. Miguel Rafael A. Nukok JML. Pangilinan Angelito T. Angelito will also be receiving a certificate for being a fifth placer in the disc gardening distri district level. Perez Rui James A. Pitolan Curl Cedric P. Ramos Arvin Jr. C. Taborlupa Andre Kit V. Taguines Enzo Luis E. Taniedo Gabriel John D. Taniedo Ivan J. A. Valencia Aldren D. Albar Michelle B. Barbecho Rodilin M. Belen Annalyn D. Bilyalba Winnie T. Winnie will also be receiving a certificate for being a third place in the district. Athletic Meet Competition Long Jump Category Canlas Marielle M Espinosa Jacqueline T Jacqueline will also be receiving a certificate for being a 4th place in the Badminton Singles A District Level Espinosa Kate Avi B Garcia Jenica L Jaime Micheli L Madriaga Samantha P. Martinez Jenny L. Mercado Rachel Ann E. L. Panda Jeanette M. Papuran Ayesha L. Pasaporte Julian S. Rivera Ruby Ann R. Saborboro Irish Nicole G. Sampang Ariela S. Tanyedo Francis Marie J. Vergara Lovely C. And Yuson Rain T. I am humbly present to you the graduates of Grade 6 Jupiter. Starting with Gonzale John Carlo B. Vasco Charles Justin B. Riones Justin E. Carpis Gerald D. Castillo John Aaron P. De La Cruz Aldrin G. Aldrin also won third place singles in badminton. De La Cruz Juan Vincent M. De La Rosa Avian John S. Espejo Zane Gabriel Christophe A. Garcia Jonas D. Gutierrez Rasli S. Isip Jomar M. Landingin Alexis E. Malyari Randy B. 
Miguel J.R.M. Patricio John Carlo M. Sayas Jervin T. Brillantes Christine V. Cercado Julian Crisa R. Condes Crystal A. Hilagan Rhea P. Hilagan Rina P. Laserna Erica Joy T. Magday Heart L. Palma Princess Mika B. Pitolan Aryan M. Reyes Angel Ann D. Rosco Aliana Avilin M. Sembrano Daniela L. And Velasco Hannah Lourdes M. We recognize the efforts exerted by our learners as they receive their conduct awards. Conduct awards are given to learners who have been observed to consistently demonstrate the depth and core values, makajos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. Conduct awardees: Fajardo King Angelo B. Mercado Lebron Albert L. Ponsema Lance Mannix M. Tungo, John Paul J. Avellaneda, Gemma Rose J. Diatingo, Chriselle Joy G. Calubiran, Leyalin Faith Joy M. Doniego, Krisha Ann C. Espinosa, Hazel T. And Navarro, Trisha C. Presenting to you the conduct awardees for Grade 6 Saturn. Ramos Arvin Jr. C. Baltasar Justin Paul G. Basilas Jeremy D. Pangilinan Angelito T. Panda Jeanette M. Vergara Lovely C. Yuzon Rain D. Albar Michelle B. Villalba Winnie T. Espinosa Jacqueline T. Kanda Kawardis Landingin Alexis E Malyari Randy B Briones Justin E Espejo Zane Gabriel A Palma Princess Mika B Miguel J.R.M. Lacerna Erica Joy De La Passion Itolan Aryan M Cercado Julian Crisa R and Velasco Hannah Lourdes F. Best in subject areas. The following pupils have exemplified excellence in the following subject areas. Best in Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao, Rashila and Villarama. Best in Science, Romeo Rafael G. Flores. Best in Math, Rashila N. Villarama. Best in English, Janeska Althea Zuniga. Best in Araling Panipunan, Rashila N. Villarama. Best in Filipino, Janeska Althea Zuniga. Best in TLE Home Economics, Janeska Althea Zuniga. Best in TLE Agriculture, Angelito T. Pangilinan. And John Paul Tungo. Best in TLE Industrial Arts, Lance Mannix M. Ponceja. Best in TLE ICT, Yuan Haley M. Pinyon. And best in MAPE, Chaneska Althea S. Zuniga. Deserving pupils, Vasco Charles Justin B. Hilagan Rina P. Hilagan Rhea P. Reyes Angel Ann T. Magday Hart L. Brillantes Christine V. 
Sembrano Daniela L. Congratulations! Presenting to you the Academic Excellence Awardee, Deserving Pupils, Pasaporte Julian S. Espinosa Jacqueline T. Basilas Jeremy D. Tanyedo Gabriel John D. Belen Annalyn D. Bilyalba Winnie T. Sampang Ariela S. Albar Michelle B. Pang Pangilinan Angelito T. Tanlas Mariel M. Espinosa Kate Abby B. Barbetro Rodilyn R. Nukop JML Magarde Aljon B Taborlupa Andre Kit V and Tagines Enzo Luis E Congratulations And for the Academic Excellence Awardees I am proud to present Panda Jeanette M with honors Congratulations Deserving pupils First on the list we have Adre Rizman Mervin T. Guevara James Day M. Piatingo Priscel Joy G. Konanan Ainaho Bond J. Viray Zendaya A. De La Cruz Ethan Y. Gomez Vince Russell G. Pinyon Yuan Haley M. Asusula Christine Espinosa Hazel T Navarro Trisha C Santos Yaj Chantal V Maliwat John Carlo P Abejo Amelie H Asuncion Jezel Jane F Bondok Annie E Kaloberan, Leilin Faith Joy M. Fajardo, King Angelo B. And Tubo, Arman Jed C. Academic Excellence Awardees with honors Flores Romeo Rafael G. Lumba, Esther Dorothy G. Mendoza, Celine Rain B. Mercado, Lebron Albert L. Salvatierra, Bianca Marie M. Padilla, Rose B. M. Moralde, Princess Chloe B. Moto, Sara Angela L. Ponceja, Lance Manix M. Cacho, Riza J. M. Alamo, Jovan G. Bevidal, Rain Angeli G. Academic Excellence with High Honors. First on the list, we have Zuniga Janeska Althea S. Villarama Rashila M. Congratulations! Dear graduates, parents, and guests, let us welcome Janeska Althea S. Zuniga, with highest honor, to deliver her message. To our school's division superintendent, Ma Maria Carmen Picoeco, EDD, CESO 6. To our district supervisor, Ma Maria Flores Aitaparas. To our principal, Ma Lucia R. Domingo. To all the teaching and non-teaching staff of San Sebastian Elementary School. To my batchmates who are watching right now, Parents, guests, and friends, good morning to one and all. This may be is not the graduation that we have imagined and planned. My dear batchmates, I believe that everything happens for a reason, and that only God knows. We should not be sad, but instead still celebrate this milestone together with the special people behind us, our parents, family, and teachers. Mixed emotions po ang aking nararamdaman sa aking pagkilala sa pagtatapos sa elementarya. Lungkot dahil this is the time na magkakaiwalay na tayo. Mamimiss ko ang mga bonding moments natin. 
Saya, dahil another chapter of our student life is ahead of us. Excited din ako to face new challenges in our high school. Sa aking mama at papa, maraming salamat po sa pagtuturo sa akin kahit pagod na po kayo sa work. At sa aking kuya, maraming salamat sa pagtulong mo sa aking mga aralin. I also dedicate my award to my Tita Presi, Tita Nancy. Maraming salamat sa paggabay at pagalaga sa amin araw-araw. Sa aking mga lola at lola, titos, salamat sa pagpayo at pagmamahal sa akin. Kung kasama niyo ang inyong mga magulang ngayon, yakapin niyo sila at pasalamatan. We are nothing without them. Maraming salamat po sa inyong sakripisyo at walang kapagurang pagmamahal. To my teachers, from kinder to grade 6, maraming maraming salamat po. Salamat po sa aking mga naging guro sa huling taon ko sa grade 6. Si Ma'am Berna, salamat po sa pagiging matyaga sa aming sama. Si Ma'am Fatima, salamat po sa mga nakakamangha at exciting lessons sa ICT. Ma'am Ma Lale, salamat po sa masayang mapin subject. Ma'am Lu, salamat po sa pagiging nanay namin sa classroom at pati na rin po ang mga pinapakain sa amin. Sir Fer, naging may kliman po ang ating pagsasama. Maraming salamat pa rin po. Maraming salamat po sa mga tinuro niyo sa amin. Patuloy po namin kayong pagdarasal at hindi po namin kayo malilimutan. At sa aking grade 6 advisor na si Ma'am Janine, naging memorable po ang aking grade 6 journey dahil po sa inyo. I will never forget po all of the happenings in our classroom. Sa lessons, reporting, training, experiments, at breakfast bonding. Pati na rin po sa mga laro at remedial le lessons natin. Maraming salamat po sa pagiging guro at pangalawang magulang naming tatlong put wala niyong mga anak. Sa aking mga klase at friends, mamimiss ko kayong lahat. At sana hindi ito ang huli nating pagsasama. At huwag natin kalilimutan ang mga isa't isa at ang mga bonding moments natin. At sana mag-aral tayong mabuti. To all the parents who are here, congratulations po. Utang po namin lahat sa inyo to make this graduation possible. Thank you very much to all of you from all of us. Masayang pagtatapos po at, ma at magandang buhay po sa inyong lahat. Indeed, we are part of history for graduating online. Still, congratulations Batch 2020. Sending you virtual hugs and kisses. Heads up and be proud. This is not the end but the beginning of more opportunities, experiences, and memories to make. God bless us all. To deliver the Pledge of Loyalty, we now call on Romeo Rafael G. Flores with honors. Pledge of Loyalty. We, the graduates of San Sebastian Elementary School, do hereby pledge to be loyal, faithful, and true to the ideals of good citizenry. We hereby promise to live up in thoughts, in words, and in deeds to our alma mater's noble traditions and to the ideals of unselfish services to the community which our teachers so devotedly uphold. We shall do the best we can to make ourselves the pride not only of our school but also of the community and nation as a whole. So help us, God. To update us on the achievements of our school, we have our dear school principal tree, Dr. Lucia R. Domingo, for the state of the school address. One of the highlights of San Sebastian Elementary School's virtual graduation for the scholastic year 2019-2020 is the state of the school address, or SOSA. Here, the accomplishments of the school for this calendar year is reported to our stakeholders. It is truly undeniable that San Sebastian Elementary School has improved enormously. All these are made possible by the endless support of our stakeholders and of course through the dedication and commitment of Dr. Lucia R. Domingo and the hard work of the teachers. San Sebastian Elementary School received the following awards. First place Division Level Industrial Arts. Level 2 in Water Sanitation and Hygiene in Schools.
second overall winner during the district school's press conference, second highest pointer both English and Filipino, best school paper. Various winnings in Kinder and ESP Festival of Talents. Second overall during the Metrobank MTOP DepEd Math Challenge. First place district level is strategic instructional materials. Second place district folk dance. Second place district sulcastula. Second place, District Pagbabaybay. Various winnings in Athletic Meet. Different winnings in the following subject areas. Adaling Panlipunan, Edukasyon, Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan. Number of our committed teachers were promoted from Teacher 1 to Teacher 3. And they are as follows. Promoted from Teacher 1 to Teacher 3, Berna G. Cordero, Jessica Salvador, Franz Angelica A. Frias, Shen Kathleen I. Anisete. With approved ERF for Teacher 3, Mary Fatima B. Gabor, Renalyn P. Estronilo. Promoted from Teacher 2 to Teacher 3, Joanna Marie T. Briones. And for our accomplishments, our dearest Mayor Christy Angeles donated almost 700 school bags to our pupils, complete with notebooks, pencil, crayola, and others. An ending support of our Barangay Councils headed by our Barangay Chairman, Cinderella Puno. Our friend from the Knights of Columbus donated foods for all our Kinder and Grade 1 pupils. Our Deaf Ed Doctors, Nurses, and Dentists conducted health checkup to our pupils. Our clinic has now complete first aid materials and medicines. Our hand washing facilities are now all serviceable through the school MOOE. The school initiated the annual bloodletting activity. We were able to put up cabinet for our school records. Our principal was able to solicit nutrition center for our feeding beneficiaries from the Rise and Rebuild Foundation International through their president, Roberto Querido, who just passed away last April 2020, and their CEO, Ray Goodson. Also, the biggest accomplishment of the school for this school year is the two-story, eight-classroom from DepEd and PWH. All these accomplishments wouldn't take place without the unending support from the local government unit Barangay officials, parents, and sponsors, may you be blessed a thousand folds for you to continue sharing your blessings to our school for us to better serve our learners. May God bless your generous hearts. God bless us all. Definitely, we don't end just like that. To deliver the closing remarks, we have Ma'am Janine Michelle C. Carlina, Teacher 3. To all the people who are watching right now, teachers, parents, and especially our graduates, good day. Kamusta po kayo? I hope you're all happy to see your faces in an online graduation. From all of us, your teachers, and our principal, Ma'am Lucia, to your advisors, Ma'am Fatima, and Ma'am Lalaine, and yours truly, we would like to extend our sincerest congratulations to this milestone of yours and your parents. Hindi nyo lang ito tagumpay, ngunit tagumpay din ito ng inyong mga magulang. Perhaps this is not the graduation that we imagined and planned for. I can vividly remember, excited tayong mag-practice ng graduation songs. 
we're imagining ourselves walking in the red carpet, yung iba pa nga, bumili na ng bagong sapatos. And then the pandemic came and stole one memorable event in your life. Hep, don't be sad. I firmly believe that everything happens for a reason and that God is preparing something bigger for you to celebrate. For the meantime, let us be thankful that we are alive, healthy, and safe tayo, and we can use the technology as a platform for us to experience graduation. Thank you, mga anak, for sharing your talents, your stories, and your best memories with San Sebastian Elementary School. Prepare yourself for new opportunities and achievements. We love you. Congratulations, Batch 2020 Online Graduates! You may not have experienced a regular graduation ceremony, but surely the meaning of this event is equally important to you. Continue striving and reaching for your goals. Graduates of Batch 2020, you did well. Congratulations to one and all.